time for a bottle of water, raspberry, lemonade, country kind, sugar free lemonade, whatever, something, something, something. Mm -hmm. I really care. We're going to start our pond area. Oh, uh, everything's kind of got out of hand. I haven't cleaned it in a few years. But the intent for this project is uh, not just for recreation and come down here and relax and hide, but also it's to uh, start growing a little bit of aquaculture down here. I got some big Nile perch in there. Um, I got some nice size catfish in there. And what I'm gonna do is start feeding them. We'll harvest them up, put them in the freezer. And then what fish I catch out on the boat, which I'm updating right now, I'm really getting it ready to rock. Um, the water's kind of low right now in Saddle Creek, so I've seen a lot of banks where it was up super high. So what we're going to do after that, we're just going to go down there and start catching some smaller fish. I know now, right now, Saddle Creek's only allowing uh, six catfish per person per day. Figured that one out. I guess it's because of the uh, the high use in the area. Um, but I'll take those small ones and I'll bring them down here and I'll exchange that for the bigger fish. And I got my floating catfish food that I feed them, high protein density food. I will take that and uh, get them up to size. We'll start rotating that and put them in the freezer or whoever else wants some, kind of help things along, along with the garden that I'm growing. Garden started out real good, but as it got super hot, super dry, super busy between uh, working River Ranch and working on my projects around the house really heavy, it's like the priority started backing up on it. So still taking a few things out. Got some okra yesterday. Got to get some black eyed peas out of there today. Still got to trim weeds out. I still got plenty of uh, Georgia collars, but I got to trim them down too. So I'll use that for compost. So that's the update. <laughs> getting her knocked down real good we need around this area so I can get down here and work gives me a clear spot got a bunch of wood there to get out from the old dock there's my old it's all my organics all piled up all that uh, all that old uh, muck and everything perfect for the garden man you can see the white sand right there I'm gonna take it down to that Throw some sand back up here and put some of them rocks on there. Get this bank squared back up. Leave uh, leave my lilies as much as possible. Work around them. The idea is leave all my beneficial plants, my nitrogen removers in here. Very important because when the water comes back up, I'll need them here. So just want to take out. As much as possible I'm just trying to control here I'm not trying to strip the place out you see a lot of people do that that's not what this is about I got bulrushes here got my old cypress knee and these bulrushes I'm gonna weed eat around them because they're very beneficial around the pond erosion control also a lot of cypress cypress knees those are coming from the cypress trees I planted very beneficial too, holding the bank in together good and solid kind of a cool for a portrait painting of us together I guess I'm gonna be Virgil and he can be Wyatt so I let him be the marshal because I was the older brother anyway so I'm doing all this out of my head I've uh, shaping it in seeing where I'm going now the colors are done yet I'm just shaping in where I'm gonna put the hair and everything of course there will be gray in that we're going to see how this goes That's the same process that you used to put that together. But 